Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your Pastor Yeti. Our greatest stories, our devotional study, and we're Wednesday in our values. It is probably a safe bet to say that everyone has prayed at some point in time. Even people who say they don't believe in God report praying on occasion. Maybe it's like a rabbit's foot or some other good luck charm. We pray just in case. It is probably an equally safe bet to say that anyone who has prayed has spent some time wondering if anyone's really listening. Is praying just good, positive self-talk? Is it just a psychological exercise? Or does it really fall into the realm of communication between two distinct persons? The 30,000 food perspective of judges reminds that there is a God. And he does actually hear us when we call out to him. He sometimes even initiates conversations. God listens to individuals sharing a back and forth dialogue with a woman like Deborah, and nobody like Gideon, and a failure like Samson. God listens to groups and nations too, and this is huge. He doesn't require a lot of patientry and hopla first. We don't have to stand on chairs and wave our arms to get his attention. No smoke signals or dragon slaying required, just a simple earnest voice crying out to the God of the universe is all it takes to gain his attention. God listens and sends a deliverer to help his people when they get into trouble. Even when it's trouble they've brought on themselves by not listening to him in the first place. It makes one wonder. We have the privilege of speaking with the greatest, most powerful and most general being in the universe. And how exactly do we use that privilege? To ask him to just to do this for us or just to do that for us. God, we're just wondering if you could just help our team just win this one game tonight. If you would just help my friend just get this job. That will be just swell. Why in the world aren't we asking him to help us figure out a long-term solution to end poverty or disease, to provide drinkable water for people in places like Africa, the third world, or end hunger in our own urban areas. Do we really value the privilege we've been given to speak with a God who hears us when we cry out to him and has proven himself willing to respond. When the people of Israel called out to him, he responds with to send a deliverer. The people he used then weren't exactly pillars of strength. Some of them might qualify for honorable mention, 
but most of them are of the up and down, hit and miss variety. Their example should point us to the things we should value most from our reading of Judges. The once for all deliverer with a capital D. We would come hundreds of years of hundreds of years later. We, by virtue of the time in which we were born, are privileged to live under the leadership of that deliverer, that judge who also serves as our greatest advocate and defender. The deliverer to whom we pray is now the one through whom we pray, by whom we pray. Jesus, wonderful counselor, mighty God, Prince of Peace, our advocate, our defender, our compassionate God, our everything we find. in that deliverer, Jesus your Christ. Beautiful people, every day we need to consider what about our life? Because it is hidden in Christ and that should be our only place, hidden in Christ, because we live from Him, not to Him, but from Him. We are hidden in Him because He did all the work to offer you a better life. And as you heard in this meditation and kind of a study too, in any, some other occasion, believers or not, raise their voice in a prayer. Trust in the Lord, my dear ones, and He is worthy to give everything that it is just you, because He is longing for you. To fill in your desire, to come close to his heart and let him bless you not only in this day but we start with this new day think about this my dear ones you as a beautiful person and he loves you let him bless you and the ones next to your heart, your loved ones and your brothers and sisters. Peace be with you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yadi. Bye.